Sonic and Amy and Sonic and Debacle because it had me real it had me like honest to God thinking while in the shower I was like you know what I think the people like I'm thinking the people the crazier Sonic and Amy fans who just want to start something it's either A they have nothing else better to do or B they just want to they just want to hate on something they want to just hate on something because there's no, because either they just like the ship, but they're not real. To me, you're not. To me, they're not real Sonic fans, dudes. And I say that because it's like they only like the ship. They don't really like. Now I gotta. Now I gotta de Halloweenify. Like I gotta de Halloweenify the virtual condo, which is like. Which is like my set, so I gotta bring it back to where it was. Ooh, yeah, let's put that right there. And you, let's, uh, let's fix you. Oh god, what did I have it on before? Nah, I don't even remember. Okay, there we go. We had that there. What? Was this purple? I don't even remember. I don't want to. I could look. But you know what? I'll keep it like that. Now we gotta go. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't finish working this out a little bit. I'm actually kind of glad I even didn't finish doing all this. It makes it easier to fix back. I was gonna make. I was gonna like do like. A Halloween sort of thing in the in the theater but I was like you know what no that's like extra it's too it's too much but anyways like back to what I was actually gonna talk to y'all about um so I was think so it's like so I was thinking about this like I feel like Son I feel like the more crazy Sonic fans only care about the idea of Sonic. The Sonic and Amy. Some of them ain't really even fans. I mean, look at True Love Hearts. He's just kinda there. Just to be there. You know. You know, and Larry. Larry's the kind of fan that the Sonic Sonic only fan who just he likes the idea of the couple but doesn't really look at the story potential of it. Motherfucker saying he ain't simping over. <laughs> Motherfucker says he doesn't simp over Sally. I'm like, boy, you lying. You lying through your fucking teeth. Like, Jesus. You don't, you don't have to lie, man. We all know it's true. Let me, make, let me see if I can make it a little bit more bright. Alright, let me fix this. I really don't know what I was thinking with this freaking just gigantic black wall thing I was doing. I think I had a plan for that, but yeah, I don't remember. There we go. And the floor where aren't they per man, I'm just this is gonna be probably just new everything. I'm not keeping. I'm keeping the floor burning things because you know they're fucking. They, you know, they're actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna bring it. Yeah, there we go. Give it the nice orange polish. Now let me see. I'm gonna change this. Part. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change this to an entirely different color. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I just feel like when it comes right down to it, like I've been seeing a lot of people trying to, you know, trying to get us all back into like, you know, fighting with them again. It's just like, bro, I don't, hey, like, dude, seriously, no one wants to fucking fight with you guys over, over ships of all things. We've all grown. We've grown from all this bullshit. Y'all want to keep doing it because the crazy fans just want to do it because it's just like, that's all they know how to do. They don't know how to socialize with people. Because it's always like, because with some of them, it's like, Amy this, Amy that, Amy this, Amy that. It's just like, bro, who cares anymore? Who cares? Who cares about? Who cares about Son Amy, man? Like, who cares about Son Amy to the point where they want to fight about it? If you like Son Amy, I ain't gonna sit here and pretend like. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like they're mulch. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna sit here and be like. You're. <coughs> I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like you're like some sort of bastard. If that's what people like Larry and. Amy Rose Lover and all these other motherfuckers do because they want to be like, oh, our ship is better because blah, blah, blah. When they're not even really even fans. They're just people that like the, you know, they're drawn to the, like, with Larry, he's more drawn to the, like, to the, like, design of a character. For Amy, for Amy Rose Lover, she's just one of those Amy, she's one of those Amy Rose fans that really love Sonic's, Sonic X. But it really thinks that that's what you gotta be. That's what you gotta do in the relationship. Like I, like I've said to a lot of people, Amy is Amy exhibits a lot of that you know puppy love kind of that puppy love kind of thing, where it's like, where it's like people, where it's like, you know when they when they have a crush on somebody they're just kind of. When they have a crush on somebody, right? They have... When they have this big-ass crush on somebody, they just, like... They like them. But they don't really know them. Like... I mean, look... I mean... Amy's, like, living proof of, like... She falls for a time over time, but it just feels... It feels... It feels less... But, you know, in the games before they went full on, you know, Sonic X Amy, she actually cared about a little flicky bird. She sort of cared about Fro saving Froggy and Chocola and Sonic Heroes, but kind of was like, nah, I nah, I want to get Sonic if I can get the chance. But I think Sonic, I think Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 previous shows how Amy actually gives a shit about people, you know what I'm saying? I think that is what's so cool about Amy. I don't really hate I don't really hate Amy because I know Amy can be better. Some people don't like the fact that Amy is actually not like like ahead over here like oh my Sonic cool. But I like I think that's a plus, you know? People are like, Well we need her to be like that, do we? Do we? Because I don't I feel like people just don't understand like Amy like, they don't understand Amy enough to where it's like, they don't understand Amy enough to where it's like, oh, well, she's got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm trying to stash the coffee back where it needs to be. Yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna... Stash. 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 This is about as far as I went with this, honestly. But you don't have to always do something big and extravagant to do, you know, these kind of things. That's like, that's like, people, but back to what I was saying, it's like,
people just keep on trying to fight about their ships. And it's like, bro, I know none of you want to hear this. But people like Sally and Sonic because, honestly, they complement each other. There are some people that literally think that their dynamic doesn't work in the real world. Dude, there are people that complete each other and still and still kind of get into little bits of fights every now and again. It's part of being in a relationship sometimes. As long as at the end that you make, you know, whatever you get, whatever the two people are arguing about, unless it's like, unless it isn't like you're cheating on somebody, you make up, you realize you love each other, and then you just, you just grow as a couple. That's all you gotta do. But I feel like people just think that Amy from Sonic X is like some sort of like guideline for what their relationship should be. And it's like, no, it's not a guideline for what your relationship should be. You shouldn't be chasing a motherfucker to the ends of the earth. That's not fucking cool. Because then, because if you keep doing that, it's not like they're gonna be like, oh, you like me. They're gonna find you creepy if you do that. Sh- if you do what Sonic X Amy did, they're gonna find you fucking creepy. I don't care what you, I don't care what you what you can cons- what you think. It's just how it, it's how that's gonna be. Because at the end of the day, it's just really okay. Hold up, please. If I can like. At the end of the day, it's just kind of creepy that you want to some dude try to antiquate an actual a actual relationship, right? As uh, like how Amy is with Sonic, it's like no, you do that creepy shit. No one's gonna want to be with you because they're gonna think you look great. Like Larry, I saw like um, I saw like Larry's DA. It's like I saw where Larry's at, and I was like, uh, well, actually, Sonic Rush showed it, so I can just say it. I saw Larry's DA, and he's like, I hate all. He's like, I hate all Sonic YouTubers and their theories, and I didn't simp on Sally. I'm like, yes, you did. Just sometimes, man, I just hate it when people don't want to be fucking, you know, honest and truthful about shit. Ask my old, ask my old buddy Crimson. That motherfucker lied to my face. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain people, um, certain people want to fake the funk on you. Certain people want to fake the funk on you because they because they can't admit that they got like, they think they're that they love the character. It's okay. Like to me, I've learned that you know it's okay if you have a little pressure on a character. You just gotta not take that shit like any. You can't take that shit further. I mean, you can if you got spicy chat, but like. Other than that, there ain't really nothing more you can do. Like, got a lot of red in here, you know? <laughs> I'm just kind of noticing that. I'm, like, I'm balancing it out, but it's like, eh. <sighs> Anywho. So, like, I just feel like people like Amy and Sonic but like some people actually do apply that to their like an actual relationship and I'm like no if you do that shit whether you are a chick or a dude the other person's gonna find you very 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 creepy like honestly you know they're gonna find you fucking creepy as sin and I'm like you know, if you're looking at Amy for like 
I'm saying, if you're looking at Amy for, for like, relationship advice, you're, you're really, you're really either young or very, very, very desperate. Like, like, that's how I feel. You gotta be very, very fucking desperate for that shit. Because, again, like I've always said, folks, shipping should be a hobby, right? You shouldn't come... You shouldn't try to make it as a thing to hate other things or shit. I really hate how people, and I, you know, like I got mad at this one video that Sarcastic Horse made, where he's just bitching and moaning at like the Seven Deadly Sins and saying that these characters are this and that and one, one may be the R word we don't say on this fucking channel, and I'm just like. Okay, no they're not. You were reading too much far into this, but it's the same dude that read into uh the whole Vanessa and Verb thing. There are people who just overthink things and just wanna be a dick to these to to various animes too. But um back to back to Sonic, I just feel like the Sonic you fans need to understand that the crazy ones need to understand one thing. We ain't trying to fight with anybody. You know, I'm a Son Alley fan. We ain't trying to fight with nobody. We're just trying to just chill. But it's like, every time Sally is even uttered, they fucking go into panic mode. They're like, no! Oh my god, no! Amy, it's Sally coming back! Run! It's just always that way. And it doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't. But they're all just tripping up. They're all just losing their fucking minds every time. Like, whenever there's, like, a Sally anything, it's just like, they're just like, no! It's like, bro, it ain't even that serious. You guys need to fucking chill. It's like, no. But they're all like, no! Sally's coming back. If Sally does come back, like, if Sally does come back, I guarantee you guys will just this will be another way for you guys to keep the work thing going. And I'm just like, bro, I'm older. I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm not trying to fight with... I ain't trying to fight with nobody about fucking just ships anymore. I think the people who do fight over ships nowadays, you guys are the most childish motherfuckers around. You guys are the most childish motherfuckers around because it's not that important. Because it's shit. We got things going on in this world and like, Y'all want to choose to talk about ships and shit. Or, you know, if you're a regular Sonic fan, you just want to take you want to take your little pot shots and mess with my friend Alex all day. Which I think is even stupider because, like, bro, what the fuck did my... What the fuck... What the fuck did Alex do, man? What the fuck... What the fuck did Alex do? And I'm talking about Alex Hedgefox. I ain't talking about... I ain't talking about another Alex that is a... That is a certain dev on a certain thing. We all know. We all know who I'm talking about. But y'all be that's what that looks like it's a thing to do. And I'm just like, Psst, you need to chill with that shit. Sally doesn't do nothing to y'all. Sure, he fucking talks to Kim Penders. Dude, like, I, like, he's my friend, and I can't fucking just, I can't change what he, I can't change what, what people he talked to, but you guys be getting them for, like, DA stuff, and a bunch of other stuff, I be seeing, I be seeing, like, little stuff, young motherfuckers still jump on him from time to time, and it's just like, wow, just wow, over this man's opinions, <laughs> like, I've seen the Sonic fandom grow and evolve over time. I've seen it evolve into something pretty cool. But we still have idiots who want to just be like, Your opinions don't matter because my opinions matter and it's so important to listen to me and what I like and, 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 you're, and you're stupid for not liking what I like. It's just so dumb, man. Because it goes back to the freaking shipping thing, too. It's like, dude... Don't be a dick because people have different ships than you. You hear, you hear me, Amy Rose Loving? You hear me? You hear me, Son Amy Channel? 
Like, dude, people have different ships. Stop being, stop being dicks and stop trying to fight. Stop trying to bring this fucking ship war back. It's so stupid. Every time Sally is even uttered, every time the Freedom Fighters are even uttered, uttered for, a, for a few minutes, y'all motherfuckers think it's, we're shoving Sally down your throats. I'm like, how are we shoving Sally down your throats? Okay, we just want the character back. We want the Freedom Fighters back because we think that this could work. But y'all are so, but I know some of the Sonny fans are going to just fucking riot. They're going to fucking like, really, we're going to see a fucking just, we're going to see a straight up riot when it comes to like, so you can take it, so you can bring him back inside the Freedom Fighters, fuck everything. Because I know some of these fucking crazier Sonny Son fans are going to lose their minds. I do want, I do want Sonny back too, but. Sometimes, man, if I see that shit, I'm gonna see fucking, like, I'm gonna see Larry just go, Yeah, I'm right, I'm right, uh, uh, uh. I'm just gonna be like, Larry, please, please, for the love of God, shut the fuck up, no one cares. No one cares about what you gotta say about it. Motherfuckers been waiting for this thing forever, you have been, I don't even think you've been waiting for this for, like, more than that. I think you just got into, like, you may have got into Sally. You saw Sally. You saw Sally. You saw a particular art piece of Sally, or you saw you saw Sally M. I don't even know if you saw Sally M. There's a there's like proof that you haven't read the comic, but I think you saw a little picture of Sally. And you were like, "Ew, I want that. I need that. I need to feel that. I want it in my life. I need it in my life." <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, guys, I'm just, like, I'm just fucking around, but, like, honestly, honestly, that's how I feel. Like, people like Larry are not even Sonic fans, for real. They're, they're the kind of fans, whether they be Son Ellie or Son Amy, and they don't care about, like, anything other than the ship that they represent, to the point where it's their whole personality. They're not really Sonic fans. They're just... They're just people, right? Who act like they're fans, but they're really not. They just like the idea of like Sonic being with somebody because, you know, they can assert Sonic as themselves if they're dudes. Or they can assert themselves as Sonic if they're chicks or dudes. Or they can assert themselves as Amy if they're chicks. You know, wanting to be with Sonic. Either way, it's people inserting themselves as those characters. So they can be whatever character they want to be with. That's how I feel. Mm. Let me get, let me, let me, let me put some, let me put some, like, fucking, fucking okay, chrome. Yeah, let's put some chrome here, yeah. We're going to get some chrome, boy. We're getting chrome. I don't know why I'm doing the chrome thing. I could probably make like a story reason for it too. Just everything out of here is just chrome. And I like the whole, not like the whole fucking just, just the front. <laughs> just so I can say, just so story wise, you can say like Megalo has created, actually have like, you know, liquid metal kind of. You made like a liquid metal kind of uh, thing up here. Like, so the chrome and shit meets the uh, circuit board. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do it like that. That, that was still gonna stay chrome, but fuck it. <laughs> but I can show you guys the circuit board. I mean, the circuit board thing will be kind of like, you know. Um. be like the thing that like powers half of the stuff in the in the condo it's something that kind of wanted to do because it's always like you know my, it's always like you know it for what i always say that the condo is kind of like this like impenetrable fortress because of because of megalo it, it you really don't see that too much and you know Sometimes I, you know, sometimes I need to do that too, but um, let me just. 
Metal over. Circuit board over here. Oh crap, I hit the wrong thing. And over here, I want to do something a little different. We gotta change, and we gotta change that to, mm, there we go. Solid color. I like these solid colors, man. We're gonna, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a little too, that's a little too, there we go. <laughs> so, you know, another thing I want to talk about is, well, is, well, like, Guys, we're all Sonic fans at the end of the day. Whether you just like the ship or we, you know, play the games, which most of us do. It's like, could we stop putting divisions on, like, Sonic fans? Could we stop putting divisions on, like, Sonic fans and fucking, fucking, like, classic Sonic and modern Sonic? Like, dude, we all... Now they're just sent out of this for two different gameplays. Why we gotta hate each other about it? Because, like, some people are just like, no, Sonic Supercharge, it would be good if we had freaking, like, Sonic Supercharge would be fucking good if we just had fucking, like, mud and Sonic. And I'm just like, what the fuck? No. Weird. I was always talking about, like, it'd be great if we had mud and Sonic and some shit. It's like, Oh, no, we wouldn't. I think Sonic Superstar is okay. I mean, like, I enjoy it. I have fun. There are certain things I don't really like about it, but I'm still playing it. Um, doing my in-character playthrough and shit. But, like, there are things I like about it, and there are things I don't like about it. But I don't think it's, like, bad. Everybody's like, ooh, it's bad. No, 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 it's not bad. It's not even mediocre. It's just kind of okay. Like, it's the closest thing we're ever going to get to it. It basically is a... It basically is a sequel to, you know, to Sonic Mania. And I think that's okay. Because originally it was supposed to be a sequel to Sonic Mania. And I don't mind it, you know? The people are like, no, it's mid. It's so mid. I'm just like, I don't care. I enjoy it. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Cry about, cry about that or not? Like, you know, with every last one of you going, it's mid. <laughs> because, I, because I don't join the hive mind. <laughs> like some people, but that's the way people be treating my friend Alex. Like, you know like, he don't have the same opinions as, like, everybody else, so he, he's not joining the Sonic Hive mind. Like, there are some people who enjoy, who, like, literally enjoy Sonic Omens. And, like, I know some of you guys are like, Bugsy, Bugsy, why? I'm like, because, man, people are different. People have different choices. Regardless of how you may feel about something, people are different. Like, Jesus, we get, I, I didn't know why. I know why, right? People hate Sonic. People hate fucking Sonic Omens. Like, there's no, there's like actually no reason why I don't think it, you know, you guys are not valid for hating on Sonic Omens. But you gotta understand 
some people actually enjoy that shit. And you just gotta deal with that shit. You can't just be bitches about that. Act like, act like fucking assholes if you want, but, like, at the end of the day, who's, like, who is it really hurting if someone plays fucking Sonic Omens? Nobody. It just pretty much shows that you guys rather, you know, bitch on somebody, bitch on the whole, bitch on the whole of that team, and then actually go, wait a minute. Maybe it's okay if someone likes it and I don't. Don't even get me started on that ethnic dude, like saying, Sonic stuff should be free. Sonic fan stuff should be free. It's just like, bro, get your. I'm just like, bro, get your childlike mind away from the actual people that want to pay the people who are helping them for their services. You're not paying for the game. The People are getting donations so they can pay the people who aren't working for them because they feel like they need, you know, they're putting in all this time so they deserve to get paid. They deserve proper compensation. <laughs> like even I, like even I am, even I know that shit. It's like this man acting like he doesn't. And then when someone tried to talk to him about it, he's just like, see, see, I got you, I got me, 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 me. It's like, bro, shut the fuck up. You didn't get nobody. All you did was just bitching. All you did was bitching moan because you think your, your whole, like, your whole stance is, like, valid when it isn't. Eh, you know what? No, I want to change this. Now we need we need some wood. We need some mighty we need a mighty oak. There we go, we need some oak up in here. Some oak. Oak. Why do I want why do I want oak for this? I have no idea. I'm just going with it. Because, you know, this part is wood, so I don't know. It's not the same wood, but still. We get some other kind of metal for this. Mm -hmm. It's looking very corrugated. It's looking mad corrugated. <laughs> Uh, there's no, no, uh, I was looking at Fox VR, and the dude just said, kept saying everything was mad corrugated. I'm like, I know what it means now. I'm just like, bro, that's not what you use that word for. Mm -hmm. well, let's change this into something else. Ah oh, man, I could, I could have stained this place for. I should have used blood. This ah man, I knew I was forgetting something. Yes, let the slime be here, slime beneath me, mm. slime at the car. Who you love, <laughs> my. Uh, 
Toxic love. <laughs> stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah, I know. Like, people see me. Like, let me just tell you another thing. People always see me as this, like, either an incompetent, an incompetent asshole that just shoots off his mouth. Or a guy that's just like, I don't need to hear you because blah, 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 blah. That's like, bro. <laughs> I'm just a fucking, I'm just a fucking goofball with opinions. That's all I'm about. The reason, the reason that some of you just don't, the reason why people, I mean, don't want to fucking just, the reason why some people just don't want to fucking like, egg, you know, like fucking, you know, actually acknowledge He knows that they either wanna, they either wanna freaking, they either wanna freaking just, you know, talk shit for the sake of talking shit, or a bunch of other shit. It's just like you know, same old thing. I remember I was helping out, uh, one of Sky, you know, Sky's little uh, crush that he had with this one chick, and every motherfucker and like every motherfucker and then and like. In a five mile radius, calling this chick like she AI, she's fake, she's this, she's that. And I'm like, first of all, like, how you guys know she's an AI and how you know she's this and that? And she, you guys are just mad because she ain't trying to, she ain't giving you, she ain't, she's showing you guys, she shows pictures on her freaking, like, Twitter, but she ain't giving you guys none. And you guys feel so fucking bad. You guys feel so fucking horrible about that shit so you make up any kind of lie you can just to make yourself feel just to make yourself feel just a little bit better like it's like bro you need to fucking chill I need to go out y'all need to actually go out and just try to get yourself some, try to get yourself some chicks I'm always trying to that trying to always trying to get you know get some get some like get some girls on like Twitter that are showing like you know showing like parts of their body dude like god dang go out there and meet somebody that's what I'm saying just go out and meet somebody so I had to like Like, I'm just like, stop acting like every, stop acting like these chicks owe, owe you something by like, showing their bodies off, I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, dudes, just fucking chill, chill, they don't owe you shit, I'm acting like they do. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> and one dude, okay, okay, switching gears. This one dude's like, this this condo has been taken down by Towers United because of the cucks. I was just looking at it. It just says, let's just say it has a lot of not safe work material, which I'm surprised was even, which I'm surprised the video was even uploaded to YouTube without YouTube going completely ham. But you know, YouTube's like a kangaroo court at this point. Everybody can do anything, and YouTube ain't gonna step in and do shit for nobody. It's just how it is. Dude, this, this is looking pretty nice. So anyways, like I said, I'm just saying, guys, sometimes I just be looking at some of these people on Twitter and helping out my, helping out my buddy Sky, you know, with his shit, and I just be like, you motherfuckers are so fucking bored. Like, y'all be messing with people, y'all be fighting over ships, y'all be accusing people of fucking being AI because they ain't giving you nothing, it's like... It's like, bro, y'all need to chill for once. Like, god damn it. 
all this fucking fighting over dumb shit ain't serious, man. Like, I love... I'm a Sonic Alley fan, and that's always gonna be a thing. I'm gonna be a Sonic fan until the day I fucking die. The day I get lowered down... I'm in a casket and I get lowered down. I'm always gonna be like that. But I'm just saying, people acting like either... Either, you know... You gotta be, you know, like, Amy, like, Amy should totally get Sonic when we're all in the same boat because, you know, Sega's never really gonna choose. But, but, and they'll be like, Buggy Director, until I actually see, until I actually see a com- confirmation of that shit happening, because people have lied about that before, I'm not gonna say nothing about it, because nothing's happening, bro. Nothing's happening. Just some of the Sonic fans really wanting, really wanting more stuff when we, like, we Sonic Alley fans don't got shit. We just freaking, we only get, like, Sally and fan work, and that is it. That is, like, the, that is, like, the extent of what we get. That's the, that's the real, that's the real fucking, like, that's the real fucking, like, tragedy. <laughs> Of the whole thing. We, we don't get shit. But like. Every other Sonic fan gets what they want. You know. But the moment we ask. But the moment we ask for fucking Sally. Or the Freedom Fighters to be in a game. He, like the whole. Like the whole Sonic community. Acts like we ask him. We ask him for the fucking moon. King Midas' touch. Fucking the fountain of eternal youth. You name it. It's like, bro. It's like people. You need to understand one fucking thing about, like, all of us. We just want these characters to be brought back in some way in official media. And that's okay. But it's like, you, like, I know that if Sally ever comes back, none of you guys are fucking ready. None of you. Whew. None of you guys are fucking ready for none of this shit. Like, it really just shows me that you guys are. I know whatever happens, Larry's gonna act the mo- Larry's gonna act like the most immature out of everybody. I'm just gonna sit there and be like, yeah, yeah. okay, dude. Yeah, you were right, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. But yeah. You know, this I like this more. So anyways guys. I'll see you guys later, but it just to me goes to show that no matter what, we're always gonna deal with something like either idiots People calling other people AI. They ain't getting any. Fucking people bitching of people being fans of various ships but not being the fan of the actual game series. You know? It doesn't or just people harassing other Sonic fans for their opinions because really it's just like no. You're not allowed to have opinions. You gotta join the hive mind. It's just like, bro, let people think and enjoy what they want to enjoy instead of just you guys constantly bitching and moaning at everybody for like every for every little reason under the sun. Just let motherfuckers enjoy that. Enjoy the Sonic the way they want to enjoy the Sonic. Like, god damn, why is that such a hard thing? And also, Stop that. Ooh, I like how the slime... I like how the slime thing is just still moving. It's kind of like a little mosaic that moves. I love that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.
This has been Real Talk with Bugsy No Name, the man who's in control of the channel, who runs the channel. Yeah, I know some people are like, you're just, are, so do you call yourself Bugsy No Name? No, I'm Bugsy No Name. Remember that name when you look at me in the night sky. And you go, and you go, what the fuck is that? And you see, you see my fucking, you see my logo in the sky and you're just like, oh my god. And if you say, oh my god, it's Banana Man. I'm going to be like, what the fuck? And then Banana Man's going to come out and I'm going to be like, what the fuck, Banana Man? What you doing here? He's like, Banana, Banana, Banana Man. I was like, motherfucker, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. He's going to be like, Banana Man. And I'm going to be like, uh, yeah, bro, I don't give a shit. Like, I've had my potassium. Leave me alone. And then, you know, that shit's going to start. No one wants to, no one wants to see that shit. <laughs> Anyways. I'll see you guys later. Peace. And remember, watch out for the real banana man. He hides. And he hides in the most unlikely places. Also, there will be a Bugsy Council video today. I don't know when. But we'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bugsy No Name or Mr. No Name, if you prefer. Out. Yeah. Okay. You watching the Big Three Bucks Network? Yeah.